the animal kingdom is a dangerous place full of claws, jaws, stingers and spines. But when it comes to homegrown weapons, there are some that are really fascinating. Sperm whales can kill by sound. Sperm whales have spectacular clicking sounds used to communicate messages over hundreds of miles throughout the seas to other sperm whales. In 1839, in the first scientific thesis on sperm whale, Thomas Beer, a surgeon of bird whaler, wrote that it was one of the most noiseless of marine animals. He could not have been more wrong. The clicking sound sperm whales produce is the loudest sound produced by animals on earth. A sound of 180 decibels is enough to cause drastic cell death in your ears, but the most powerful sperm whale clicks will not merely deafen you, they can vibrate the fragile human body to pieces. Ever wondered why surgeon fish are so called? It's because of the bony plates they have on the sides of their tail, which are reminiscent of surgical scalpels. When attacked, the tropical fish flick the spines outward and attack them when danger has passed. Surgeon fish plates have been known to give human deep wounds. Now a more grotex form of weaponry. The caterpillars of silver spotted skipper moths use their own feces as a defense. In a tactic known as ballistic defecation, the insects can fire their own poo an incredible 1.4 meters, 4.5 feet away. The bombardier builder can spray acid, which is produced from the reaction between two chemical compounds, hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide, which are stored in two reservoirs in the beater's abdomen. When the aqueous solution of hydroquinones and hydrogen peroxide reaches the vestibule, Catalyst facilitate the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide and the oxidation of hydroquinone. Heat from the reaction brings the mixture to near the boiling point of water and produces gas that drives the ejection of hot nauseous chemical spray from the tip of the abdomen with a popping sound. The damage caused can be fatal to attacker. Some bombardier beaters can direct the spray in a wide range of directions. The Malaysian ant is a soldier ant. Its insides are packed with poisonous sacs from its head all the way down its back. When a predator appears, the ant will contact its muscles to build up the poison. Then, similar to a pressure cooker, it explodes, spraying the toxins on the threat. The predator can die from the poison, or if it is large enough to survive, it will think twice before approaching another ant in the area. But the Malaysian ant dies as well, giving its life and limbs for the greater good of the ant colony. The Robin Hood of the sea, the archer fish is able to take out any insect within a few feet using nothing but water squirted from its mouth. But what you do not know is that its mouth is stented upward, which is advantageous when it jumps up to grab land-based bugs. This fish usually swims just below the water's surface, and when it spots prey within range, it adjusts its eyes like a scope, so the insect lines up horizontally. Then the fish's lips just barely break the water's surface as it shows a jet of water at the unsuspecting victim. The archer fish almost always hits its target with one shot, instantly killing grasshoppers, spiders, and other insects. If a bug is close enough, the fish will forego the squirting and simply leap out of the water and grab the insect with its mouth instead. Skunks have two glands, one on each side of the anus. These glands produce the skunk spray, which is a mixture of sulfur-containing chemicals such as thiols, which have a super smelly odor. The skunk will give a few warning signals like hissing, stamping their feet or lifting their tails in the air before letting their mask loose. Skunk's noxious spray can travel as far as 10 feet 3 meters, but they only have enough spray for 5 to 6 uses before they need to replenish the supply, which can take up to 10 days. While its spray isn't lethal, a skunk stench is enough to make any predator evacuate the area and the smell lingers for days, which can make the unfortunate recipients of the spray very uncomfortable and very smelly, very very smelly. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. Thanks.